Okay, we are live. Fantastic. Hello to everyone in the future. They wait for people to filter in as are obligatory. Oh, hello, four folks. Thank you so much for joining us. We've got one heck of a presentation lined up for you guys today. This is sort of a continuation of the last two webinars. It's uh, called Eyes on Demand. And <clears throat> unlike the last two webinars that we've covered, which utilize AI technology, artificial intelligence, uh, to enhance productivity and independence at home, this one's going to sort of divert away from AI because, unfortunately, we are in a time where AI hasn't developed to the point where it rivals hu the human capacity for intelligence or reasoning, logic, et cetera, et cetera. Simultaneously, that's pretty scary uh, if science fiction has told us anything. But uh, today we're gonna look at two very powerful apps, very similar and very different in terms of how they operate. But before we do, before we jump into that, I wanna thank you all for joining us today. And to anyone listening to us in the archive, thank you so much for checking us out. I'm Eric Cifuentes, Adaptive Technology Instructor at the Lighthouse for the Blind, today joined by Dan Hart, our Accessibility Specialist. He'll be proctoring and screening your questions today. Hey, Dan. <clears throat> Hello. To, speaking of questions and hands and other things of that nature, if you wish to participate in the discussion tonight, Feel free to do so on your Windows computer, Alt plus Y will raise your hand. Command plus Y on a Mac, star nine if you're calling in. Again, star nine if you're calling in, this will raise your hand. Dan will be able to aggregate you to the conversation and you'll be able to verbally ask a question. If you can't verbally ask a question, maybe the kids are asleep, you can't speak for whatever reason or you're just shy, which you shouldn't be, you can add a a text question into the chat box by quoting control. Uh, I apologize. Alt plus H on Windows or Command plus H on your Mac. Again, Alt plus H and Command plus H. So today we will be talking about two apps. Once again, these apps are meant to enhance, boost, and just give you that independence that hasn't been uh readily available beforehand these apps are by no means brand new they're each about five years old be my eyes might be a little bit older but uh what they do is both apps utilize real-time human assistance using both your uh, wi-fi and or cellular connection and your phone's camera on iphone it will always default to the back facing camera there's no way to actually use the front facing camera for that. So you do preserve some privacy if you don't wish to be seen or you aren't decent for whatever reason, uh, just make sure the camera is pointed away from your body. If you're using a phone with a back facing camera, make sure the back of the phone is always pointed away from you. That's a very strong disclaimer. Um, <clears throat> but these two apps are Be My Eyes and Ira. Again, these two use human assistance, live human assistance, real time with your camera, your microphone and some sort of internet connection. And what this does is someone was able to peek out through your camera and look at what you're pointing your phone at. And with, the, with these apps, you're able to request assistance that can be rendered to you real time. Let's say you're trying to set your thermostat and it doesn't have a dial, or it's one of those where it's got the little switch to set the uh, the heat or cold or EMER or to just turn it off, or it uses buttons to digitally change the temperature of the of your house. Well, right now, unless you have a smart thermostat or are able to invest in a, a talking thermostat, uh, the best thing you can do is use something like Be My Eyes or Ira, because seeing AI or Google Lens, while they're powerful and diverse in what they can do, they unfortunately have trouble reading small, tiny little screens with small cramped text 
that text that's changing and flashing and blinking and doing weird stuff like on a thermostat or like that on an oven dial or like that on a on a the screen of a dryer or washing machine uh, right now, those apps, you, you can point it at the screens, but all it's going to do is sort of recite to you what's on the screen, but it's not going to really give you a strong indicator of, hey, right now, this uh, thermostat is set to 77 degrees on heat. So again, that's where someone comes in, peeks through your phone, and sort of tells you what's going on. And it's really cool because you can just do this with the press of one button. It's really easy. Now, there's a different, the reason we're showing you two different apps is because they're very different as far as how uh, assistance is rendered. Both utilize a person, but one, Be My Eyes, is completely free. Be My Eyes is a free app. You download it for free, you create an account. It's really simple and easy. And you call in, you call in uh, with one press of a button and your phone automatically looks for a volunteer. This volunteer connects to your camera with their Be My Eyes app as well. And they're able to see what you're seeing. The thing with that is, is that with Be My Eyes being driven by volunteers, professionalism is not something that should be expected. It's something that you should, decency should be expected, but professionalism and an understanding of how to work with visually impaired people, how to properly render assistance with vivid and uh, clear language, these things might be uh, a bit different. You might get people from you know, countries that don't speak English as a primary language. People who, I've encountered people who use this app to help the, the blind and to practice speaking English with. So there's definitely some communication barriers there. Uh, that can crop up. But to get small things done around the house, for example, picking out a, a colored shirt that matches your black pants or setting the thermostat or turning your oven on, setting the dryer, figuring out small odds and ends things around the house, wonderful app. A lot of the time you'll be able to find someone that's gonna help you, that's gonna give you assistance and that's gonna be very cordial with you. Again, with the app being driven by volunteers, you might find yourself uh, not having the greatest of experiences once in a while. Maybe uh, someone's rude, curt, short, or just outright uh, can be uh, inappropriate. But I've, I've used this app for years and years and years, hundreds, thousands of times, and I've only had one negative experience. So, I do also have to provide a disclaimer. When you use Be My Eyes, while the people are mostly nice and very uh, wholesome in, the, in, in their willingness to help, it's still not an app where people are in danger or you know, uh, capable of losing their jobs because of a breach of confidence. What you show someone there is not bound by any sort of confidentiality. So leave your credit cards, leave your bank statements, <laughs> don't show any sensitive tasks uh, information because, well, maybe 90% of the time it would be completely safe to do so. There is nothing stopping some bad apple out there from going on a shopping spree with your credit card. It's just not worth it. <clears throat> Be My Eyes is wonderful for everything else. So just don't show your address. Don't give people your, your banking information. Don't show people your, uh, <clears throat> your, your uh, anything, social security card, your state ID number. Just for that, there's, there are other solutions. There really are. But uh, for all other things, this app really does get the job done. So on, and then we have Ira, and we'll talk a little bit more about Ira, but Ira fills in the gaps where Be My Eyes sort of uh, can't reach because of the fact that it's driven by volunteers. But with Ira, it's shareware. So you're gonna be paying and you will be paying for it. <laughs> um, although there are some uh, instances where you can use Ira for free, but the professionalism, the, the experience of the people, who the language they use, the, the ability for them to communicate with you off the bat in a manner that's professional, courteous, and just 
absolutely incredible is it's Sparta. And we'll talk to someone from Ira today and we will, we will place costs on both apps today just to show you uh, the different experiences you can have. But let's start with Be My Eyes. Be My Eyes. Be My Eyes. Let's, to download Be My Eyes, simply search Be My Eyes on the App Store. B-E-M-Y-E-Y-E-S, -E -E spaces where they belong, be my eyes. Download the app, install it. When you first launch it, Be My Eyes is gonna ask you to sign in or sign up. If you don't have an account, it's pretty easy to make one. Simply sign up with your email, make a password, confirm the, the, the email link that they send to your email, the, uh, the confirmation link that they send to your email, and you're good. That's really as simple as it goes. You can set a language in the settings, but uh, most help is only offered in English right now. Uh, you might be able to find Spanish speakers. I found a few Spanish speakers, uh, but they take, it takes a while for you to connect to someone. Uh, unfortunately, that's just how it is. But it is cool that the option there is available if, if you need someone to speak a different language. But without further ado, let's check out the app. I'm gonna go ahead and open it on my phone. Dot, phone, one new item, page one of two, adjustable, page, draft, find, productivity folder. So oh, productivity, drop, drop box, Amazon app, be my eyes. Be my eyes, Double there it is. <clears throat> be my eyes. Call first available volunteer, button. Go. It's really that easy. Call first available volunteer. So upon opening the screen, after signing in, you are met with a very simple screen. Call first available volunteer button. Is the first button you see. Call first available volunteer. Swipe to the right. Specialized help button. And we'll talk a little bit about this later. This is specialized help. And this does add a level of professionalism to the app, but it's again, very specific as to what you can do with this stuff. It's specialized. Settings button. Settings. Here you can change your language and that's about it. <laughs> tab bar selected home. And tab. here are your two One tabs two. down here. You have your home tab. Stories. Tab. And your stories tab. We'll talk a little bit about that later. That's really some interesting stuff because you can, uh, the stories tab looks at other people's usage of the app. It looks at uh, other people who have used the app and have done things with it or just other blind people around the world who, uh, who have used this application and who have done things as far uh, professionally or hobbyists. But uh, without further ado, let's place a call. Thanks. Specialized help. Call first available volunteer. So let's call the first available volunteer. Call first available. All right. Oh, right now. Hello. Hi. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm wonderful. Hey, I'm just showing this app off on a on a on a webinar that I'm doing right now, but uh here, if we could just look at a few things real quick and you can tell me what they are, that would be amazing. So I've got here just a, I don't know what this is. It's a, it's a, it's some pills. I know they're over the counter, but can you tell me what exactly I'm looking at here? <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, it's a little dark. Okay. Let me uh, turn the lights out a little bit and uh, that should help out. Uh, oh, no. Huh. Hold on. I got to pull this little string on here. There we go. Okay. So the lights are now on and here is the bottle. Uh, um, can you turn it a little more, please? Which, which way? To the right, this way? To the right. Okay. Um, it looks like it's ibuprofen by Equate. Ibuprofen by Equate. Wonderful. Yeah, from Walmart. From Walmart. That is perfect, ma'am. That is exactly what I needed to know. Uh, thank you so very much for the help. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. You too. Bye-bye. And I just do a two-finger double tap to conclude the call. It really was that simple. I simply initiated a call by tapping call first available volunteer. It usually takes a little bit longer to connect. It's really awesome that it, it connected to a volunteer so quickly. But it really was that simple. And it will take a little bit of maneuvering. You're going to have to uh, be able to move the camera around and follow instructions. Thankfully, that gentle lady or that uh, lady <laughs> was very good about telling me, hey, turn it to the right or left. Although 
and we'll see this later, Ira usually is very good about telling you immediately which way to move the phone or which way move the camera just a little to the right or just a little to the left. And that's because they, they again, they're very familiar with specific directions. While this lady was very helpful, she uh, needed a little bit of prompting as to, hey, am I supposed to move this to the right, to the left? Which way am I supposed to move this? Um, again, you can use this for all kinds of things. I used it to identify a bottle of medicine that's over the counter. And uh, because obviously uh, the print on a lot of these bottles tends to be very small and a lot of the apps like Seeing AI or Google Lens struggle to, to keep track, uh, to read the small text embedded on the, on the bottles. So that's a quick little demonstration of Be My Eyes as a volunteer app. Uh, if anyone has any questions, it really is that simple. You make your account and you just start calling people. If you have any uh, ideas or suggestions to, of what sh I should use this for, uh, I've used this to sort mail. I don't actually use it to read mail. I just have, uh, I just use Be My Eyes <clears throat> to look at envelopes and sort of sort my mail by, you know, important or unimportant, but I don't actually trust, uh, I, I'm not as trusting to, as to actually let them read my mail because I do get some sensitive pieces of mail, but it is cool uh, to be able to say, oh, that's from social security. On the envelope, it says that maybe your uh, seeing AI has trouble picking out what it's saying. Maybe your envelope got wet because it was a rainy day. And I've had that issue before, rainy day, harder to read for AI, wet mail, horrible stuff, wet box, horrible stuff. It, it's gonna struggle reading it. It's just, it is. And uh, that's where someone's eyes come in and uh, Be My Eyes does the job very well, as you can say. Okay. <clears throat> Let's move on to specialized help. If, hold on a second. <laughs> if I can get my phone to can start talking to me. There we go. The other part has disconnected and the call has ended. Okay. Button. There we go. I experienced problems. I had a good call. Button. Good call. I had a good call. Let's rate it as call a good first call. Available volunteer. So button. once I rate my call, it puts me right back on the button. Call first available volunteer. If I were to press this again, I would connect to another volunteer. There are quite a lot of volunteers on here, but uh, again, it could take a little bit to find someone. <clears throat> Again, drop your suggestions and I'll, I'll, I'll throw myself out there and I'll use the uh, app for some, uh, some, some whatever you guys uh, feel uh, that you could use this app for, I'll try. Um, but let's look at specialized help. So we'll turn away from the volunteers and we'll move into- Specialized help. Specialized help. So we double tap the button. In progress. And again, Dan, interrupt me if uh, there are hands or questions. So we tap yeah. on, gotcha. We tapped on specialized help <clears throat> and we are met with a list of categories. Let's scroll through these different categories that are available. Personal health button. Personal health. Technical button. Technical. Tap bar. Select technical. Oh. Person home and cleaning. But civic engagement. Okay. Home and cleaning. Home and button. cleaning. Technical. Personal health. Civic engagement. Civic button. engagement. Lightness organizations. Lightness organizations. Beauty and grooming. Button. Beauty and grooming. Assistive technology. Assistive button. technology. So these are all the different categories of specialized help you can receive. Let's just open, uh, let's open personal health. Let's see what that constitutes. Personal health. All right. So here's personal health. Here you can obtain some info about personal health and what it constitutes or the specialized help in general and what constitutes specialized help. But let's just explore this. Search. So search personal field. health, we have a search button. Together. Every single category has a search button. Really not that necessary since really there aren't too many specialized help uh, options under each category, but it's just cool to have. And when this inevitably adds more partners, uh, this will be cool to have there. Let's scroll on. Accessible pharmacy services, closed button. Accessible pharmacy services, closed. Clear blue, closed button. Clear blue. Crest, closed. Button. Crest, the toothpaste, I guess. Oral B, closed. Oral button. B. Tap bar, selected. And Oral. that's the Tap. end. So <laughs> let's look at the, uh, let's look at clear blue. That sounds familiar to me. Crest, clear blue, 
closed. Be so it's it says it's closed. That means you probably can't call it. But let's get a little bit of a an idea of what specialized help offers with this app. That button. So clear blue. Clear blue. Contact the Clear Blue Care Line for help with Clear Blue pregnancy and fertility tests. Wow, and see that's pretty incredible uh, to have that, and it's for free. So closed. Contact the Clear Blue Care Line for help with Clear Blue pregnancy and fertility tests. So what this says is contact the Clear Blue Helpline with assistance with Clear Blue products like the uh, fertility or pregnancy tests. That's pretty awesome. Because this isn't some, again, that's something really sensitive and maybe a volunteer would not be the appropriate approach to, uh, to help assist, render assistance with something like a pregnancy exam. But this will call someone from the Clear Blue company uh, who is a representative of that company and they would be able to render that assistance. Let's, uh, closed. so right now it says it's closed. Info button, but opening hours. Here we can grab some info about the company or we can look at the opening hours. So let's see when we're able to call the company uh, for assistance with their products. Be my eyes. Tuesday, 1 a.m. to 4 p.m. Wednesday, 1 a.m. to 4 p.m. Thursday, 1 a.m. to 4 p.m. Friday, 1 a.m. to 4 p.m. Saturday, closed. Sunday, closed. So here you can tell they've got a pretty extensively long day with to offer help with. 1 a.m. to 4 p.m. And it does use Eastern, if I recall. So in uh, Texas time, that would be 12 to 3, midnight to 3. That's pretty good, <laughs> all things considered. Um, obviously, I wouldn't call this right now since, uh, well, it doesn't really apply to me. But if someone had this and needed to use this service for some sort of pregnancy test or fertility test, and you needed privacy and you wanted to talk to someone that's professional and you might not have had a, a, a doctor right away. Well, just fire up Be My Eyes, tap on specialized help, uh, health and uh, wellness, personal care, I apologize, personal care, clear blue and then call, call here. And here's how you call. Let's go back from the opening hours. Let's hit the back button. So closed. now we're back in the... Uh, Oh, back button. Back go button. Back. There we go. The clear now we're back in the uh, we're back in the clear blue screen, and here on the bottom right, tap bar. Call clear blue. Dim. Button. Call clear blue. It's dimmed right now since they're closed, but if they were open, this button would not be dimmed. <clears throat> Let's go look at some other little things. I want to make a specialized help to sh uh, call to show you guys uh, exactly what uh, is available. And I think right now the, there's only one or two things that are open. Back button. Uh, so let's go to technology. Six fifty four PM. Sorry. Close. Oral B. Let's Close. go to technology. Back uh, back one back. Uh, technical. Button. Technical. Personal health. So let's Tech go to technical. 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 Button. Let's see what's in here. Search field. Back button. Tech info. Search. Be my eyes. Close. So be my eyes. You could call be my eyes, and this is mainly just to offer suggestions and uh, other things to the uh, developer themselves. Google. Open. Button. Ah, Google. Microsoft. Open. Microsoft. Tap bar. So. Microsoft. We have two big ones right here. And this is awesome, guys. We got Google and Microsoft. Right now, these are both open. And uh, you can call. You can call them, and they will render assistance. I've never called them. So let's uh, let's call Microsoft and see. Let's ask them what exactly you can do uh, with this app. I don't have any actual idea of what sort of help they can give. But let's talk to a representative and sort of get it from the horse's mouth. What kind of help can you get? So Microsoft. Microsoft. The Microsoft Disability Answer Desk is where customers with disabilities get support with Microsoft Office and Windows. Okay. So here is an, a little blurb. It tells you that this is how you contact the Microsoft Disability Desk. So this is where you contact Microsoft for any answers, I guess, that have to do with accessibility uh, with Windows. Uh, any Microsoft, I said Office and Windows. I, I assume this extends to things like the Microsoft phone. I think that was discontinued, though. Um, <clears throat> but let's go ahead and call. Always open. Always open. So I believe this is the only option that, uh, this is the only choice in all of Be My Eye Specialized Help that's actually open 24 seven. But uh, that's pretty cool that Microsoft's there for you all day. Let's call. Info, button, supported languages, English. Supported languages, English. Unfortunately, all the specialized help only works in English. 
add to favorites button call microsoft button. let's call microsoft and see what they've got to say the microsoft uh. call, Wizzo, tap, call microsoft call microsoft using rear camera and call button so there's a little jingle it's very quiet but let's uh Hi, welcome to Microsoft Disability Answer Desk. This is Cole. May I have your first name? Hello, my name is Eric. Hi, Eric. How can I help? Actually, ma'am, I'm just here uh, to ask you. Uh, I'm, I'm doing a webinar live right now on Be My Eyes. And uh, could you explain to me, because I myself am a little uh, uncertain, but what kind of help do you guys uh, give to the to people with disabilities when it comes to Microsoft products? What can I ask for help with? Uh, if you have some technical issues with the computer, um, let's say, for example, mm -hmm. you have issues with your applications for Word app mm -hmm. or with your Windows, there is a problem with it. Okay. We can assist you with that. And also, if let's say, mm -hmm. for example, common issues that we are receiving in Be My Eyes is that, let's say, for example, your screen reader isn't talking to you or isn't working, okay. you can call us so we can see the screen we can describe to you what's going on okay. something like that or you sh um sometimes we also assist customers if um the computer is no longer booting okay like we can assist you in bios also but okay. actually that's already out of our support but we okay. do best effort um as much as we can help you with um your technical problems with your right. computer you're extending our help so yeah. as if my if, for example you said bio so if my computer was uh if i wasn't hearing my screen reader talking to me and i had booted up my yeah. computer would you be able to tell me what what it says and maybe help me boot it up into safe mode or something of that nature yeah okay yeah. fantastic and you could help me uh turn on my screen reader for example if it for whatever reason crashed or stopped talking to me uh so i could Correct. get wonderful mm -hmm. so it's just a yeah, and mm -hmm. Continue. go ahead no please go ahead <clears throat> yeah and we also offer free remote session okay. with the customers yeah because usually for you know screen reader users right. it's really you know hard to navigate if we have some technical um shortcut keys or we there is something that is not familiar with you that we need to go so we offer free remote session but mm -hmm. we need to ask for your permission first something like that and we are giving some disclaimer first about the remote session and gotcha. if you will allow us to do that then we can get into your computer and then troubleshoot the computer understood and that's completely understandable thank you so very much ma'am for answering some questions <clears throat> sure you have a wonderful is there day. anything else that'll be oh, all sure, thank you. you too all right bye -bye. sure if you need to call you can call us here anytime we're you're open okay. 24 by 7. 24 by 7. thank you so much have a wonderful yes. day you're most you're most welcome you too bye bye, bye, -bye. Good call. Alert. Are you sure? You, no. Yes. Button. And there we have it. Review your experience. So Heading. that is just that's flooring, guys. That's, I mean, it's pretty cool. <laughs> that is really cool, isn't it? I mean, it's free. It's I mean, that's <laughs> you can call Microsoft. They will look at your screen. They will tell you what's going on. They will help you do things. They will freely remote into your computer. And this is Microsoft and it will render the service for free. No, I mean, uh, you know, I mean, I, I wouldn't say no strings attached because they are, you know, getting access to your, your, your data and whatnot, but it's awesome to have that now, you know, you no more, you don't have to wait for, for a sighted companion or someone who can help you diagnose an issue. Uh, now you have the specialized help. And again, the cool thing is you're not relying on a professional. I mean, I'm sorry, you're not relying on a volunteer, you're relying on someone who knows what they're doing and who's been trained uh, to work for that particular uh, category, that reason. And they're well aware that they're working with Be My Eyes. They, these people know that they're going to diagnose a lot of screen reader issues. And that extends to uh, the rest of these categories, the rest of these companies. Uh, they know they're working with Be My Eyes and they know that their clients are going to be people with visual impairments. So, there's a little uh, there's a little glimpse into what you can do with Be My Eyes. It's free, completely free. There, you don't have to pay for anything. And uh, just for a 
a little heartwarming uh, demonstration of stories. Here's a just a list of different blind people who have been featured on the app. Uh, and you can access this by going to the home screen in the Be My Eyes app and then tapping on the stories tab. Let's just scroll through it a little bit. Review your experience. Review your experience. Thanks for your call. Please let my experience. Sure. I had a good call. Good Button. call. We're happy to hear. Great call. We're happy to hear. Review your experience. Uh, We're happy. Share your experience. Done. Done. Button. Okay. Back button, back button. So let's go back. Back, back button. A few times. Back button. Back button. Back button. Back button. Again. Settings. Okay. Button. We are in the home Specialized screen now. Let's button. tap on stories tab. Tap bar. Stories. Tap. So there are stories. Let's tap on the top left of my screen, where's uh, the top of the screen here. About button. So here's an about. This tells you what stories are all about. But let's just uh, scroll through here. Community stories. Heading. These are community stories. Tell us your story. Button. How seemingly insignificant accommodations made the biggest impact. Brandon, Columbus, O, USA, so, blind, button. This is a story about a gentleman named Brandon from Columbus, Ohio. A diverse workforce means diverse perspectives. McCall, Chicago, IL, USA, blind, button. So let's just tap on this story and see what McCall from Chicago, what exactly his uh, his deal is and what's going on with McCall. A diverse work, dismiss story, button. A diverse workforce means diverse pers- McCall, Chicago, IL, USA, blind, Play button. So let's tap the play button. Pause. You're listening to a community story from Be My Eyes. My name is uh, Michael Novitsky. I am uh, currently an associate attorney at uh, Moore Ashley and Donahue of the LLC, the Common Law Group. Uh, this is a small, basically a boutique firm. Uh, specializing primarily in uh, telecom law. Uh, we have a, a very So as you can see, Michael is a, an associate of attorney and he he's a professional doing something obviously that uh, he, he likes to do. And there's, I mean, there's a ton of stories. And the cool thing is these are from all over the world. There's blind folks from Pakistan who are, who are lawyers. There are people from Moldova working as, a, as tech support folks. And there's people from Texas. Um, it's really cool. And uh, there's quite a few of these in there. I, I urge you guys at least to download the app to check these stories out. There's quite a few uh, interesting people you can meet on here or hear about on here. So that's be my eyes. Let's dive into Ira now. <clears throat> Let's open Ira. And again, to install Ira, it's a little bit different. You do download the app from the app store. It's A-I-R-A, Ira. <clears throat> Just like be my eyes, it uses real-time assistance. But uh, it is paid. But before we get into the uh, the payment plans and whatnot, um, to install the app, download the app, open it, and enter your phone number. This does require you have a phone number. You get a text message from the uh, phone number, and then you enter it, and you are good to go. Now, the cool thing about Ira, though, is that on your first call, you get to establish a profile, a user profile. And, and we'll talk about this with one of the agents here very soon. But what this does is it gives the agents an idea of how best to communicate with you, certain verbiages, certain languages, maybe your preferred uh, units of measurement, uh, whether or not you like to be told uh, directions in a clock face, 10 o'clock, 3 p.m., you know, uh, or do you prefer being told 12 degrees to the right or something of that nature? So right there, you can witness and you can see that the, the agents, they're trained to be more specialized and customized to each individual person. And I'm not trying to sell the app to you guys, but it is pretty cool that they offer you this. Now, let's talk about the payment because let's just be very clear cut. This is a for-profit business and uh, it is expensive. It's very expensive, but there are, don't, before you tune out, there are, and I'm pointing at the screen right now. <laughs> Before you tune out, there are free uh, choices. You can use the app for free in certain instances. So please, please don't just discount it on, on the price alone. But <clears throat> it follows three tiers, $29 for 45 minutes a month. You can buy uh, 120 minutes for $90, or you can buy 300 minutes for $199 a month. That's expensive, folks. I understand it is, thankfully, there are other ways to use the app for free. Now, if you are on a guest account, you have this. You have call. You can call the app. 82% tap bar. Start call with a message for free from phone button. There you go. 
So here you can call for free. It says for free and you get one five minute call every 24 hours if you are a guest user. That means you have one call as long as it connects and you talk to someone and they render assistance, that's, you get that one call for free. They used to offer unlimited free calls, but uh, they went, uh, they, they're, they're a, their business model could not support that for long, unfortunately. Um, but now they offer one free call every 24 hours. Now, if you are a paying user, so let's say you pay the $90 a month, you do get five free minutes every four hours. Now, this doesn't mean that they stack. It just means that every four hours, you get a five minute call that doesn't deduct from your plan. So let's say I call and I, I have an eight minute call. Well, those first five minutes are not deducted from my plan, only the, the next three, the last three of that call. Now, if I call back in four hours after that call, once again, those five minutes are the first five minutes will not be deducted from my plan. But do not think you can just say, oh, I'm not gonna use the app for a few days. The minutes don't stack. It's simply one five minute call every four hours if you're a paid user. If you are a guest user, it is one call every 24 hours. Hey, Eric. Uh, yes. Hey, we have a, a quick question real quick. Absolutely, uh, go ahead. Uh, while we're not far from Be My Eyes, question sure. was, can Be My Eyes be used for shopping? Yes, it can. And again, that's that's going to be completely to the discretion of your of your um of your agent, of your volunteer. But you can absolutely use for the uh the app for shopping. Uh just uh my suggestion is don't make your uh, your call too long. Again, the volunteers are on free on their time. Uh the specialized help does have shopping for certain products. For example, if you're looking for tight products, you could use the specialized help to call Tide. You would have to buy the Tide product, so it's really niche. But uh, you could just use a volunteer and uh, help yourself to some shopping. Uh, but here's where Ira, and this is where Ira comes in because you can actually shop for free at certain stores. You don't have to pay for the app. So let's just dive right into this. So you have one five minute call every 24 hours, or you can apply the special access offers, which lets you call Ira for free for so many different things. Let's dive right into it. So free. I can call Ira for free. Apply a free access offer. And here it is. Button. Apply a free access offer. So here's a button for that. Let's double tap it and open that. Apply mm. free. Double tap to dismiss pop-up window. Button. And just like Be My Eyes, we have different categories. In Ira, we have three. Let's scroll through them. Cancel. But free access offers. Heading. More info. Recently used. Heading. No free offers. Re categories. Heading. Promotions. Limit time and ongoing promotions. So we have Button. promotions. Products. Tasks that involve using certain products like JAWS. Button. Products. Locations. Tasks while you're in certain locations. <laughs> location. Button. And this is just to go back to that last question. Locations. Here we go. So here you can means you can use Ira for free at certain locations. Does not cost any money. Does not make you pay for it. As long as you're fulfilling these uh these uh what's it uh, fulfilling these requirements, you're able to use this for free. So let's open locations. Location offers will automatically apply on a regular call if you are calling from an Ira access location. Start this relies on GPS accuracy. So again, using your GPS, as long as you're at the location that you're calling from a location that's supported with free IRA access, you'll be able to use this app for free. Uh, for, I think it's for 30 minutes. Let's let's check it out. Let's see what we got. Walmart Supercenter, Austin, number 1,253, 1 1.0 miles away, 710 Ben White Boulevard, Austin, TX, 78,704, button. So I could, if Don't I was at the maps. Walmart on East Benway Boulevard, I could call and get assistance. Let's see what else we got in here. Walgreens 3341. Walgreens. One point, Bank of America. Bank Stassi of America. Heights, one, Bank of America. Bank South of Austin, America again. Point, target Austin South. Target. Six miles of, Walgreens 1933. Walgreens. Point, Walgreens 7, Walgreens. AT&T My Wireless. AT&T My South Wireless. South, Bank of America. Third Bank of America. Walgreens. Walmart. Walgreens. Walmart. So it's it's again not too many stores, but they're uh, Walmart's a big one. Walmart, Target, Walgreens. Three huge ones right there. If you bank at Bank of America, you can get help there. AT&T, you could get help finding a cell phone there if you're an AT&T customer. Let's check out Walmart and see what it says. Hey, Eric. Yes. Hey, real quick. Uh, we do have a raised hand from someone that like would like to ask a question real quick. Please, go ahead. Okay. Okay, uh, 
Uh, Ned, you can go ahead and uh, unmute yourself there. Hello, Ned. Hello. Hi. Hey, Ned. Yes, I, 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 I'm sorry to interrupt at this point in your presentation, but going back to the, the, the Be My Eyes, okay. um, they do help with shopping. I, I, partic I have Be My Eyes. Right. And I participate each month on a call with the Be My Eyes. Okay. And I get the Be My Eyes newsletter. And, uh, but anyway, the first Wednesday of every month, they do an hour call okay. uh, in, in Texas. It's from 12 p.m. until 1 p.m. Will Butler's the vice president. He's out in Los Angeles. Uh, Hans, the man who founded it, is in Denmark. Mm -hmm. And the first 30 minutes of the uh, call is talking about the new things they are adding to Be My Eyes. Each month, they're working with partners for the specialized help section. And then um, the last 30 minutes is people raising their hands and giving testimonies and things and right. how it helps them. And, and um, there have been people, I mean, on these calls from Iceland, New Zealand, mm -hmm. Australia, Brazil, England, Ireland, from the United States. Uh, it's even here from Austin, one lady called, she was a teacher at the uh, School for the Blind here in Austin and she was giving right. testimonies. But anyway, uh, it's just really, um, the connection is phenomenal. Yeah. And uh, they have over 4 million volunteers and they've got 270 some thousand clients on that app. Oh, wow. And uh, it is in different languages. One guy gave testimony. Uh, he got a book and it was in Norwegian. Right. And he went to Be My Eyes and, and uh, found the Norwegian language uh, and got a bilingual speaker. And the person was able to read the first four or five pages of the book in Norwegian to him and translate it. <laughs> wow. So and. In, in your experience, how, how long will, will, will some of the folks be willing to work with you? Is there yes, my understanding from there? the calls, uh, when right. a volunteer responds, they are expected to give 45 minutes of assistance. Oh, wow. And if they cannot give the 45 minutes or less, then they let the person know. And, um, and they've also, um, they, they talk about the technology where you can, like if, you, if you're somewhere and you're lost and, and, and you can use the Be My Eyes, they, somehow you can connect your, your Google Maps to mm -hmm. them and they can help you find your way. <laughs> and uh, so I thought amazing. that was pretty cool. That um, is amazing. I did not know it extended to that level of assistance. Thank you so much for sharing. Right, and uh, then like now Procter & Gamble is one of their uh, specialized help. Uh, right. Of people and the, I did not know this, but the executive director for advertising in Procter and Gamble is blind. Okay. And oh, so wow. he's been doing a lot of things with uh, the shapes of uh, shampoo bottles and conditioning bottles and putting Braille on things. And they're reaching out, they're labeling vitamin containers with Braille. Um, so yeah, but the but the, the testimonies have been great. Um, and uh, anyway, I, I learned by just simply listening to what other people are doing and how they're, how they're using it. And, um, but they, they're not trained like the AI. I mean, the IRA people are trained. Right. And uh, the Be My Eyes people are not. And, uh, but anyway, um, I just found it to be very beneficial. And they do help with grocery shopping and mm -hmm. colors and looking at money and things like that, so. Awesome. Thank you so much, Ned, for sharing. That's really uplifting to hear. <clears throat> yes, and the specialized help. When you just reached out to Microsoft, right. and, uh, a speaker, uh, one of the persons said that Microsoft helped them you know, with their computer difficulties and when they were having problems and that Microsoft was very good. Right. And uh, a new a new a new partnership that Be My Eyes has just made is with Spectrum. And uh, Spectrum is, okay? is having audio description on some of their programs. Oh, wow. And so you can download the Spectrum app okay. on your phone and you can be sitting with your family and uh, they're listening to the television program 
and you're listening to your app and your app is describing what they're seeing on the TV. That's incredible. Yeah, so they just started that partnership. It's just, it's not on all programming. It's only on certain right. programming with Spectrum. Right, just certain specific ones for now, but it's a really good for, uh, first start, first few steps. That's pretty cool. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Thank so, you. <laughs> but anyway, it's just a different person. I mean, it's, what I like about it is, you know, it's, it's a global perspective uh, that Be My Eyes is, that I'm getting each month when I listen in on the call. So I really look forward to that hour, the first Wednesday of every month, so. Right, right on. Very cool. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Ned. All righty. Thank you, Ned, and thank you for giving us that information. I had no, see, even I, who used Be My Eyes, I had no idea they, they were so uh, extensive and they were so well integrated into so many pieces of, of, of life. So before we end this, I do want to just talk to an IRA agent. So let's find the uh, and the demo and just, just talk to someone from IRA. So let's offers. apply. A, and the cool thing about this is you can apply a free access offer to demo the app, which is really awesome. So let's do that right now. Tap to dismiss. Double free access offer. Free access. Promote product. Promotions. Promotions. Loading. Demo. Demo. Here Demonstrating IRA to friends. Button. Demo. Back for up to so 15 let's... minutes at a time. IRA sponsors free service when demonstrating IRA to employers, people who are blind or have low vision, or anyone else interested in IRA. So there you go. If you want to show this off, guys, click here and tap. Spread the word. IRA, it, there's Intuit. They've partnered with Intuit Business. They offer free help filling out job applications, dressing for job interviews. Let's talk to someone right now. Apply offer. Button. Let's apply the offer. Applied. And now let's call. Start call with a message for free. Call IRA for free from phone. Call IRA for free. So let's call. Agent. Let's talk Calling to someone. Calling agent. A black screen with text on it. <clears throat> so we're jingling right now. Let's hopefully we pull up it on. I know they're open right now. They're open almost 24 hours a day, if I recall. <clears throat> there we go. Yeah. Sound duration. Thank you for calling Ira. This is Johnny. Um, I see you calling in about the demo. Yes, ma'am. Um, okay, and who are you showing Ira to? Hello, my name is Eric C. Fuentes, and I work for the Travis Association for the Blind. Right now, we're, we're doing a webinar on a different uh, human real-time assisted apps like Ira and Be My Eyes, and we just wanted you to talk to us for a few minutes about all that Ira can do, what you guys help with, and how you're a specialized uh, assistance really is a little different and how you can customize uh, and tailor assistance to uh, each individual user based on what they need. <clears throat> yes, absolutely. Um, so each our, um, IRA Explorer, uh, which is what we like to call our customers, has a unique profile um, that we set up for all of them, which will list all of your preferences, including, um, you know, your level of vision, um, what type of mobility aid you might have, mm -hmm. um, preferred orientation whenever an IRA agent is giving you instructions, as well as, um, you know, your level of detail that you're um, comfortable with, such as if you want rich details, such as facial expressions, um, moderate details, such as just major you know obstacles in your way such as a bus stop or a trash can um and then little details such as you just want to know how to get to you know from your house to the supermarket mm -hmm. um so and we can also uh in the profile that we create for each explorer we also um add uh there's a note section which we can customize to anything that you would like us to know such as any allergies or emergency information mm -hmm. but also um preferences such as i prefer hulu versus netflix so <laughs> So whenever I'm calling in, um, please, you know, pull up Hulu. Um, so definitely, uh, if there's anything that you want us to know, we can put in the notes. But um, really, Ira is kind of limited to the explorer's imagination. Right. Um, we do everything from, you know, um, basic tasks such as reading mail or, you know, checking um, for ingredients in the pantry, mm -hmm. all the way to, you know, we've helped explorers um, with very specific things. Like I remember um, what one time, 
time, um, I helped to set up um, um, a Bluetooth house telephone, the phone directory. Um, so not something um, that you do every day, but uh, definitely uh, it was a task that was very visually um, like needed because the uh, phone wasn't um, really like talking to her too well. So uh, mm-hmm. that definitely was something that gave her more of her independence back. Um, or moments such as describing, you know, I've had explorers who've called in and, you know, their child is in a play or playing a soccer game and, you know, describing those events to them, you know, mm-hmm. describing where their kid's at on the field. Um, so that's th- little things that are very impactful um, for explorers that they weren't able to do before. How are you able to find like the 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 their 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 particular uh, kid? Do you uh, how do, do you work with the the agent? Like how do you know? How do you follow the 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 player, for example, on the field? Do you have to guide the uh, the explorer to navigate their phone and ha- point it a little bit to the left? How does that work between you and the explorer to keep track on the ki- on you know on the on the running child? <laughs> I don't care, definitely. Yeah. So yeah, uh, everything goes through the camera um, okay. on the phone. So um, I'll just say, hey, um, you know, usually they're, they'll know like some basic information such okay. as their child's jersey number or my kid is like brown hair, blue eyes, and he's on, you know, St. Anne's team or something. Um, so uh, usually I can um, do that and we'll just describe, um, you know, tell them, hey, can you please move two inches to the left? you know, three inches to the right, um, you know, they just scored the goal, um, you know, your child's wearing like number 13 or whatever. So, um, you know, ba- basic, using like basic knowledge from the Explorer as well as just navigating them on how to use their phone um, to help them like keep up with the game or the play. Right. Mm-hmm. Now, I've also seen on on the Ira features that you've helped people, uh, for example, uh, I've, I've seen someone navigate an airport by themselves. How does that work? an airport from from (laughs) gate to terminal you know (laughs) yeah definitely so you know we're very fortunate that a Mm -hmm. lot of airports do have their airport maps online Mm -hmm. um so something as simple as just saying hey you know um what gate did you land in um usually the airlines will announce what gate they landed in and they usually know as well like um where they need to go uh and if they don't we can easily just check their ticket or check out the information in the airport airlines website okay. um but usually we'll just say hey where do you want to go um and they'll let us know and we'll pull up the airport mat and describe through the camera once again on their phone um just you know where the restrooms are how to get to their gate um, where to pick up their luggage um you know where to catch any um transportation if they need um, right. anything and and we uh just, you know just by simple research as well we'll help them with all of that those tasks as well, like pulling up, you know, when's the next bus going to leave from the airport, for example. Now, one thing that a lot of people who are visually impaired, you know, they, they need help. Uh, they might need help with sensitive information, for example. Is Ira able to help someone, for example, read a credit card or look at a bank statement? <clears throat> Yes, absolutely. And um, we do, um, our privacy policy is listed. So if okay. um, an, an, an explorer at any time at the beginning of each call can say, hey, um, I do not want this, you know, um, just for training purposes as well as security purposes, we, uh, IRA does record every single call. Mm-hmm. Um, but if an explorer, um, you know, were to be handling sensitive information, they can request that, that we don't record at the beginning of each call, um, and we'll automatically turn off the recording. Um, But, you know, we, we're very, um, all of our uh, agents, you know, are required to have the top um, you know, security on, you know, all of their computers right. to make sure, you know, everything's safe. Um, we are rep- asked to like do monthly, um, you know, like check-ins on that as well. Gotcha. Um, and, you know, so we're very, uh, very sensitive to handling private information. Um, and, you know, we take it seriously. Right. Um, but, but yeah, definitely um, we'll delete photos of anything that we took. If it's like a credit card or bank statement, um, turn off the recordings. Um, and, you know, you can always call our customer care um, team if you ever wanted to like follow up with that as well. Wonderful. And my, I, my last question to you is, Man, you said we're limited by by the uh, imagination, but uh, realistically, what are certain things, for example, uh, that Ira, you know, might not be able to help with uh, that, you know, there's certain skill sets that someone should have uh, already before, uh, you know, for example, crossing a street uh, before actually trying to cross a street, even with Ira's help. 
Uh, you think that's something that people should uh, maybe avoid asking help with, or, or what do you think? Um, definitely can assist with, um, you know, orientation and mobility. Okay. Um, I think some of the more, um, as an IR agent, some of the tasks that I find that are a little bit more difficult are okay. very, uh, like super specific tasks. Like mm -hmm. I need someone who speaks Chinese, you know, um, <laughs> it's kind of, as, right. as much as we have a lot of agents, right. um, it's, it's really, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's difficult. It's not impossible. Okay. Um, you know, there might be an agent on and you can always certainly request, mm -hmm. um, to see, cause you just never know who might have that skill. Um, but, uh, definitely I would say maybe if you know, it's a little bit more obscure in the real world, right. um, you know, might not be something uh, the typical average IRA agent right. can do. Okay. But so something like a street crossing would probably be something you'd be able to help with then. <clears throat> yeah, absolutely. Okay. Navigation um, tasks Fantastic. are definitely something um, that we are more than overly trained on. <laughs> wow. Okay, that's fantastic. Well, Yami, thank you so very much for your uh, for your for your answers. They've been so informative. Thank you so much. <clears throat> You're very welcome. Is there anything else you'd like to do today, or? No, man, we're good. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful night. You as well. All right. Bye. Bye. -bye. There we go. Message privacy select end end button. There we go. So there we go, folks. I mean, it really is amazing to talk to some of these folks, some of these agents. They're so, they're so, they know what orientation and mobility is. It's just little things like that. That she said orientation and mobility. I purposely left those words out when asked phrasing my question about navigation, and she herself was able to just say, "Yeah, uh, orientation and mobility. That's something we we can help with for sure." <laughs> That's. I mean, no, 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 absolutely no disrespect meant to be my eyes, but that's something that you would not expect or should expect with your Be My Eyes volunteer because these folks on IRA are trained. So again, it's expensive, but there are ways to get around having to pay the uh, the, the high prices. And uh, as you can tell, there, there's so many uh, just YouTube IRA explorers and you'll see people walking around the airport unassisted uh, by anyone physically there. And to me, that's that's almost worth the money. Uh, there's, I know the airports, you'll be able to use the IRA for free from any airport that you call from. So, I mean, I mean, it, it speaks for itself, really. How about you, Dan? What do you have to say for that? That was pretty incredible. <laughs> it, that was pretty cool. Um, yeah. yeah, there's several different, uh, like, like you all were saying, there are several different venues that IRA minutes are free when you're in those venues. Uh, I do know that at some of the major convention centers in some of the cities and whatnot uh, do have IRA descript or you know IRA minutes that they can uh, that that you can definitely use. Uh, it's pretty pretty impressive. It's a it's a very yeah. impressive uh, uh, service. I've, um, I've never met someone so knowledgeable just in. In, uh, with with a uh, visually impaired lingo like that before. <clears throat> definitely, definitely. Uh, we do have a quick question uh, in our uh, in our chat. This is mm -hmm. actually going to be for Ned. Ned, I'm going to unmute you uh, real quick. And uh, oops, I'm trying. Anyway. Go ahead and uh, unmute yourself there, Ned. There we go. Okay, perfect. So, Ned. The question that uh, was posed here is, uh, how do you sign up for the Be My Eyes newsletter and how do you join the monthly call? Um, you know, I, I guess that when I, when I uh, set up my app, I had to give him my um, email address. I think I did. Yep. And that's when I started receiving the emails. Okay. And uh, that's when I started receiving the emails, letting me know about the phone calls uh, that they had once a month, the first Wednesday of every month. And then I also get the monthly newsletter. So it just, it just started after I signed up. So I don't oh. know what I did to do that other than signing up. Is there a phone number that you call or is it just cool. be my eyes? For the uh, what I could do maybe is 
go through my emails and maybe forward to you one of my emails that I have from Be My Eyes. If you could do that, that'd be wonderful, either to Dan or myself. <clears throat> right. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Will Butler's the vice president in Los Angeles. Hans is in Denmark. Um, and there's two other guys that also participate uh, on these calls that are with the company. And, uh, but again, I, I guess I'm not answering the question very well because it, it just started <laughs> after I signed up. So. Okay. We'll, but going back to be my eyes, the other thing I learned that when you call, when you push the button for be my eyes, it sends out a call to 20 to 40 people. Uh, and then the first one responds. Yeah. And uh, so there's a number of people that could answer, but it's the first one who responds. Gotcha. And that was a really quick response that I received. Sometimes it can take, you know, it can take a little bit longer, but they're really good about answering the, the phone a lot of the right, time. Right, right. Now, when I was grocery shopping at HEB mm -hmm. before the pandemic, I, uh, I, lived, I, I was at the store and the, and the associate, um, the partner that helps me shop uh, was a college student. Right. And she was majoring in sign language. And she told me she learned, she so was telling me, she said, do you know about Be My Eyes? And I said, yes. And she said, well, she learned about it from her sign language class. And so she signed up to be a volunteer for Be My Eyes. Wonderful. Oh, they, cool. they cannot even provide sign language. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Awesome. Thank you, Ned. We appreciate awesome. Thank that. Thank you so much, Ned. So and I'll, I'll go through and I'll send that email to uh, to one of you guys. Wonderful. Pre we appreciate Perfect. it. And we'll, we Thank will you. absolutely get that out to you guys. Uh, anyone that may be interested, especially that person who asked the question. But uh, these are very good apps. These are very powerful apps. Uh, again, Be My Eyes can be used for almost everything under the sun, except for the most sensitive of information. And uh, Ira is just another world of description, like that lady says. She's helped someone help follow her child as they play football on the field. That's amazing. So check them out. They are in the agenda. We can email you. Uh, Ira is A-I-R-A, -A, both uh, on the App Store, Google Play Store, and Be My Eyes as well, App Store and the Google Play Store. Really easy to set up, really easy to call and get assistance real time, almost instantly. All right. Are there any more questions or hands, Dan? <clears throat> uh, let's see here. Not seeing anything in the chat and uh, not seeing any more hands right now. All right. Well, with that, guys, I do want to say thank you to everybody who joined us today. Thank you to Miss Dr. Laura Miller and her patients for joining us and for staying with us since the beginning. Uh, thank you to anyone who's checking us out in the future on the archives. Check out the agenda. It's the links at the very, very copy and paste it or just click on it and uh, join us, watch us. And we will see you in two weeks for the next installment. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful night. Bye-bye, everybody. Hey, everyone.